Welcome back traders. This is Sandra with Trading Made Simple. Hey, uh, did an iron uh, butterfly this afternoon. Um, was a great trade, made $335 per contract. I'm gonna show you how to actually automate your closing orders. So uh, our parameters uh, for today, as you could see, was that we were gonna take a profit of 25%, stop loss of 25%, and our um, trade was just for an hour, and you had to monitor your trade, and you'll see why in just a second and that um, so I want to show you how to do this so that you can put in an OCO order and so what you're going to want to do is copy this now if you uh, right click this and you say copy text it's not going to copy it to your thinkorswim platform so you want to make sure you do your control copy or your command copy whether you're on a Mac or on a um, an Apple and then when you come over here to your position statement you're going to say order entry remember you just get there from this little button a lot of little buttons and then when you hit order entry and saved orders you're going to see this little clipboard and you're going to click it and when you do your order pops up great so that's half the battle right getting this iron fly onto your trading thing now you got it on there so now we need to put in our profit targets so you're going to want to come over here to your advanced orders and you're going to make sure that you put first triggers oco and by the way, maybe it's just an OCO, right? Uh, maybe you you just wanted to get this in there and you wanted to get it out to make sure that it got in because you know that this is a pretty fast trade. So you just want to get it in there. At some point, you're going to want to go back to your monitor tab and you're going to want to say create, right, an opposite order as an example so that you can create an OCO. And then you would just go right over here and say create an OCO. In any event, we're going to just go from the get-go so everyone learns this the easy way. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna say, hey, create uh, an opposite order, and you're gonna say create a duplicate order so that we have our, our uh, two sell orders. One is to take profit and one is a stop loss. Now remember that when you're selling premium and uh, you have to buy it back for more than what you sold it for, you're at a loss. So let's take the first one and say, okay, I want this to be my stop order, and let's just do it by price. So you take out your calculator, and you say, okay, I got a $13 credit plus 25%, that's $16.25. So now I'm just gonna go over here and go $16.25, great. And I got my stop in, and I'm good to go. That's how easy that order was. And now you say, okay, my take profit is a limit order, and so now you're going to say $13 uh, minus, right, uh, minus the uh, 25%, and that is $9.75. Okay, so now you're going to come over here and do $9.75. All right, we got it in there, guys. We have our order in. Now you can just submit this, and now it'll be waiting in the wings. Now, what happens if you have a trade time limit? Now, you know, we're using trading bots, and so uh, with that comes advanced features on your dashboard. So even though it's going through thinkorswim, tradier.com, tastyworks, tasty trade, you could still um, program all these little variables. Now, unfortunately, I've already checked with Schwab. They said you cannot do the order entry to where somehow if neither of these get hit then you have a market order in what ends up happening is because you can't connect it to here you're putting in a floating market order to buy this back now what's the worst case scenario well the worst case scenario is um, one of these hit okay you either take your profit you take your loss and then right at let's say 3 p.m. you want the trade to completely close and you stuck in this floating market order then you're basically buying an iron condor at the end of the day, and that's not going to be helpful, right? So you're basically adding an additional order because they can't all be connected. But when you're doing some programming either via Python with an API and you're using some advanced tools like a trading bot, you're able actually to program all of these little variables in so you could do both. Hey, get me the OCO in, and if neither of these get hit, then make sure you get me out of the trade at 3 p.m. 
regardless of what my profit is and what my loss is. That's why on our trade alert, we say monitor your trade. So I hope this helps you to create a take profit or a stop loss. Now, let me show you how to do it with a percentage. I showed you how to do it with a calculator, but how do we do this with a quick 25%? Uh, percent? Well, you just come right over here where it says man, you hit trigger and you say, okay, plus uh, 25% is my stop. Well, that didn't work out. Got to get over here to the percentage and maybe we just hit the keys and we get it over to 25. All right, like apparently that was the easiest way. Come over here to trigger, get over here to percentage, go down 25%. And now you have your stop loss as well as your take profit. And remember, because we're premium sellers, it's the opposite for us. We want to be able to buy back this order uh, less than what we sold it for and we get to keep the profit. If we buy it back for more than we sold it for, well then of course we're at a loss. So now you have your stop, which is the plus 25%, and you have your limit at negative 25% because we are premium sellers in this example. So I hope this ends up helping you try to identify how you can create a very simple uh, take profit and stop loss. And we'll see you in the next video. If you're interested in learning about trading bots and programming our most profitable trades, then you can go to tradingmadesimple.org for all the good details. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.